so the exercise that we're going to do together is around aligning the brand promise with the, what is delivered. And so this model was created by David Aker in 2012. And, and there's an article here that I source. And basically it breaks a brand down into three elements. There's the essence, the core of the brand. It's a, it's a single statement that really captures the brand's identity. And then there is the core identity, which is, you know, how do we actually make that essence a reality? What are our capabilities? What are our culture? Um, how do we actually uh, bring it to market? And then finally, there's the extended identity, which is what you see, you know, usually in advertising. What is the symbol of the brand? If the brand were a person, who would they be? Uh, as an organization, how do we put ourselves out there? In the market. So, for an example, uh, looking back at Apple, I'll play you. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules, and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them. Because they change things. They push the human race forward. And while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. So that, that was one of many of Apple's uh, ad campaigns, Think Different. Um, and that one really stood out to me uh, through the years of, you know, what their brand essence is. As you said, um, they created a market that wasn't there before. So that thinking differently um, is really, I think, uh, really the core of, the, of their, of their uh, existence. Um, or the, the essence, I should say. Um, but then how they then present themselves to the world is in this core identity, which is the, the absolute most advanced technology uh, with the highest level of design uh, quality. Um, so, you know, it's one thing to say, think different, but what, what are we actually producing? That comes in in the core. And then the extended identity are these elements um, that, you know, the symbol is the apple itself um, taking a bite out of the apple? Is is a um, is a euphemism um, in English that uh, you know you're 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 striving, you're achieving. Um, <clears throat> so and and really, their brand hasn't changed. At one point, it was a rainbow color, um, but and it it's gone from flat design to. Um, to you know more shadows and whatnot, and then back to flat again. Um, a brand as a person, they had an ad campaign um, in the U.S. I, I I don't know if it reached the rest of the world, but there was a um, a sort of a two comedians. One was kind of middle aged and frumpy and in a you know a, a poorly fitting suit, and he was the PC, and then there was the hip young. Uh, you know, jeans wearing cultured young man who was the apple and they would uh, they would spar with each other in the advertisement. And it was uh, it was meant to show that, you know, PC people are, um, you know, out of date and not uh, not hip. The product, I think the iconic product of Apple is the iPhone. Uh, again, um, something that didn't exist and we didn't even know we needed. Um, all of their other products, of course, are very high quality, but everything centers around the iPhone. And then finally, as the organization, you have Steve Jobs himself, um, but you also have, you know, not only do they design great products, but they have designed an iconic building 
um, at, for their headquarters. Um, they call it the, the spaceship. Um, and so, you know, not only do people desire to own an Apple product, they desire to work for Apple as well.